creating the web was really um, mainly an act of, act of desperation because the situation without it was very, very, very difficult when I was working at CERN later. Um, it was most of the technology which involved, involved in the web, like the hypertext, like the internet, multifont, text objects had all been designed already. I just had to put them together. Um, it was a step of generalizing all the uh, uh, it was a sort of, a, of, a, of going to a uh, higher level of abstraction, thinking about all the documentation systems out there as being possibly part of a larger imaginary documentation system. But uh, then the engineering was uh, was fairly straightforward. It wasn't, uh, and it was designed in order to make it possible to get at documentation, and in, in order to be able to get people, uh, students working with me, contributing to the project, for example, to be able to come in and link in their ideas so that they wouldn't, we wouldn't, uh, if we wouldn't lose it all if we didn't debrief them before, before they left and so that people could, really it was designed to be a collaborative workspace for people to design a large system together. That was the exciting thing about it. Computers changed. They had graphics, they had things like folders and point and click and people started to use word processors. When they used word processors, they stored their data that they, they typed into the word processor on a disk somewhere on a machine, which generally wasn't accessible. So the frustration, uh, there was then a new frustration that data about these systems was available, but you had to log on to a special, particular machine. You had to type, a, uh, learn a particular program to access it, to find your way through the library was totally different from finding your way through the documentation system of, uh, of an experiment. Um, so the data was there somewhere going round and round on a disk, but it wasn't, it was really difficult to get at. So there was a mixture, a confluence of ideas, I suppose. The frustration that we didn't have access to the data that existed, even though it was there. The need for a collaborative environment. I want something like Inquire, but where everybody could play so that people working together could, uh, could design something in a common shared space. My parents were both mathematicians. They had uh, obviously had a lot of fun with math. Uh, so I grew up, I was the eldest, I am the eldest of four. We all grew up in a Atmosphere where math was <clears throat> sort of a, was a, interesting was everywhere. So uh, making clothing or making a pie or uh, involved some calculations and things. And uh, uh, I, I suppose when I was little, I had two friends in elementary school, and we would discuss science. We would. We weren't, weren't very athletic. We would walk around the playground and talk about chemistry and biology and, and physics, and we would uh, wind electromagnets by taking wire and from transformer wire and wrap it around a nail. Uh, and I remember the electromagnets didn't work very well because the nail you should put in the, the book said you should put the nail in the hearth as it in the embers of the fire and let it cool so that it, it was, uh, got the right temper. But we didn't have a fire <laughs> with, with embers. So that never happened, and the, and the uh, nail would become a permanent, permanent magnet. But that was the first sort of um, interest in, the, in, I suppose, was to become later electronics. when I was very small, maybe five or six, I was taken in to see, to, to daddy's work, to see a computer, and I remember it as being a big cabinet with a clock on it and with a desk, with a, uh, with a paper tape reader, uh, one box which was a paper tape reader and one box which, which, which was a paper tape punch. So I came home and put, my, uh, put a clock on my cupboard and put a desk in front of it, and I put one cardboard box which you push the paper tape into, and one cardboard box that you pull the paper tape out, out of. And uh, so that was, <laughs> that was the first computer. There are lots of new things ready to be designed. Really, you have to think about the web technology at the moment, and the use we are using it as being a tip of a very large iceberg. 
okay, when, when the first internet messages was, were, were sent, uh, or the first email messages, people, you know, did pe some people may have thought, wow, we have changed the world now. You can send a message across the world just by typing it, and it arrives within before, before you can read it out aloud. And so now, how will the world be different? As, the, as though there's been a sea change, and now we're going we're, to settle down to a stable life in our new world. Wrong. The pace of change is increasing. It's not going, getting any slower. This, the web has happened, but it's one step. The web itself is, uh, it, it's, it, it started with, it's, it's part of the plan. We've got the data web, which we haven't got out there yet, and that's going to have very dramatic effects going to make us much more powerful in the things that we do. There are going to be a lot more things built on top of the web. There are going to be layers and layers on top of the web. And all the time, computers are getting more powerful. People are becoming connected together. The world being smaller. So it's, uh, there is very little time for sitting back and thinking, oh, look what we did. I'm just an ordinary person. Okay, I did, wrote this program fairly late in life compared to some people, you know, compared to piano prodigies. Um, and I'm just an ordinary person with ordinary faults and ordinary, you know, uh, who's uh, difficult to talk to on Monday mornings when they're grumpy and um, things. I make, I have really, I have lots of problems remembering people's names and getting and uh, and, and turning up at appointments on time. Uh, and uh, you know, and I'll get distracted easily, into, especially if there's some programming going on in the vicinity. So. Uh, so, every, so, and everybody is just a, just a person. We're all uh, we're all just a person. I think we're all you know we're all if you like, we're all divine in some way. We've all got that. We've all got sparks. We're all very very special, um, and that. So I so, I don't want to explain what it's like to be special because I'm not more special than anybody else. When initially the thing was released on the internet, the. Uh, it went out in, in various obscure news groups, email messages, and I got messages back from people I didn't know at all on completely different continents and islands saying that they'd installed a web server or written a web browser, they'd, done, they'd helped in some way, introducing themselves with two lines and just joining in with lots of, uh, lots of enthusiasm, um, lots of creativity, and with their own very special different way of looking at uh, looking at life and, uh, and with their own mot motivations. That has been really, really exciting. It's been, uh, get, when, me, the, when people like that have got together face to face, it's been electric. The World Wide Web conferences we've had, now the Semantic Web conferences as well, have just got a tremendous energy about them. So um, doing this thing, this, doing this web science is about building this a huge system together and that's, and uh, the, that spirit of collaboration, has, uh, in, uh, international collaboration, has been by far the most exciting thing.